Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. Today I'll be playing in the first round of this season, season 11 I think, of the Untap Open League for Vintage. Uh, once again I'm playing Infect. There's a little cycle going on here where play Infect, play a, a real deck, play a silly deck. Play Infect, play real deck. Well we're back on Infect. So that means that I'm playing Blighted Agent is my main Infect creature, along with, uh, there you are, Ink Moth X. These are the only two. The only Infect creatures. You don't, I mean, you are an infect creature, you don't, you don't count, you kind of. Uh, the object is for us to swing with one of these two, either unblockable or flying, and then use, there you are, Blazing Shoal, plus either one of our four progenitus, four copies of progenitus, or our single copy of, where are you, Blasphemous Act. <laughs> I think they're sort of by CMC, so that makes sense, it would be way over here, uh, in order to get an instant KO. That's it. That's the goal. Now, we have a couple of other backup plans. We have, as you can see, four progenitus, and it's not just for being pitched. We also have a copy of Show and Tell, which can put progenitus into play, or Blightsteel Colossus. Now, Blightsteel Colossus happens to also be an artifact, and that means Tinker. So the ways that we win are killing with Infects, so, you know, a combo kill for poison damage, uh, Show and Tell one of our big dudes out, Tinker Blightsteel, or poking them with infect creatures, but let's be real, that's probably not happening anytime too soon. Probably not. My opponent is Better Moth, and is on, uh, who is T1 Flamekin Harbinger in my Discord server. This is an Elementals list, running Kahira the Orphan Guard, as well as, so, Voice of Resurgence, Lightning Skelemental, this will be fun, Risen Reef, <laughs> Omnith, Muldrifter, and Shriek Maw. So lots and lots and lots of good Elementals here. Uh, Oko, because of Oko. Uh, the, the usual shenanigans here. Two bolts and three abrupt decay. So I'm actually worried about that. Plus two force of vigor and four force of will. So lots of counter magic and whatnot that could really mess me up. Uh, as for artifacts, you'll notice they also have... Yep, it, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Just the moxen that are on colors, which means no pearl, uh, and black lotus. For a second I was thinking there was a Mox Diamond, but nope, that's not it. So four Cavern, four City of Brass, because we need to make all our colors. Four Mana Confluence, four Reflecting Pool, no Unclaimed Territory. Uh, it kind of makes sense. City of Brass and Mana Confluence make mana for the other stuff. Alright, and uh, here's the sideboard, really quickly. And there we go. So, I am not expecting to do all that well. <laughs> I said I would be recording the intro. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're playing It's Elementals and have an easy 2-0. We'll see. Finished. Alright, so I, I am on the draw. I elected to keep. This has an Infect creature, Blazing Shoal, and a way to get a, uh, a, big, a big dude out. A big one out. So, we have a turn 3 K out. Alright. Show me what you got. <laughs> so, Force of Vigor is a problem. Force of Will is a problem. We could just lose. Uh oh. <laughs> Rewatch this because why not? <laughs> why not? Alright. Click in. Allow it. So, hey, there we go. Let's, uh. <laughs> That's a lot of mana. That's a hard cast mole drifter right there if they feel like it. Give them a second before they pop it. Uh, what'd they say? Blue to floating. Okay. Alright. That's good. Hawkeye. They've already played a land, so no shuffling. Also, what uh, fetch lands did they have in this list? None. Nada. Zero. Brainstorm with no fetches. Um, might still be important for what they're trying to do, though. It's not a bad cantrip nonetheless. Alright. Woo! So you'll occasionally see some blank cards for my opponent. They'll be able to see what it is. We may not, unfortunately. Uh, because of uh, an art error. Apparently when an art for a card... Uh, here. Let's go. Uh, when an art for a card happens to go out. Uh, unfortunately, so the blue is gone and they only have this green left. Uh, reveal. Oh, they hit a land, so it comes into play 
tapped, then it causes the, the card to break effectively. They can still see the description of it, but the picture is broken. And that's actually something that I had to fix before going into this game, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see what we get. We get a, ooh, we get a Blighted Agent. Okay, in that case, we can go uh, Underground Sea. They don't have any Wasteland or Strip Mine, so that's fine. We can pass, hold up Vamp Tutor, Blagent, play the Ink Moth Nexus, and then we have two creatures for them to try to kill. Now, even assuming that they have a Shriek Maw, and they probably do, right? Well, there's two Shriek Maw, it's not a whole lot. We should still be in good shape. So this is Mana Confluence. Reflecting Pool makes mana of any color now. Mana Confluence will cost them one each time. Spoiler alert, we're in fact. That's not going to... Yeah. Yeah. Another Risen Reef? Maybe? What? Something went... Oh, Kahira to hand. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Noise. Alright. Can't respond to that. Uh, just take the one. S1 is just swing one. It's the opponent's way of confirming I'm passing priority to you. Uh, end of turn. I could try to cash in the Vamp Tutor now. I probably should. Alternatively, we could do it on the opponent's turn. End of turn. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so we could go not use, we could not use it, then play Ink Moth Nexus Blighted Agent. If they kill it, we can do it on upkeep. Hmm. The efficient way to do this, I suppose, is just to make sure that I draw Progenitus now. I don't know that that's strictly necessary. In fact, let's, let's not. Let's, uh, pass to our turn. And then just do it on our on our turn, on our upkeep, before we draw on the next chance we get, if we need to. Because we have an extra land. We'll be fine on that. Alright, we'll... Alright. Move to my turn. Draw. Alright. Hey! Just what the, the doctor ordered. Another Ink Moth Nexus. Alright. Whale? What do you say? <laughs> Make sure that they have it. They totally have it. I'm jinxing it right now. What are you going to do, Shriek Maw? <laughs> Alright. If somehow we manage to make it, we'll be okay. Uh-oh. Bolt. Zap. Yep, zap. Zap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's going to happen. We're going to get overrun with stuff like that. Oh boy, City of Brass. Okay, please hard cast something with all five mana, please. Get probe. Uh. Hopefully this won't keep it. Oh wait a minute. I don't mean reveal all. Just sec. There we go. That's better, I think. All right. I, I hope that this isn't... Wait a minute. Okay. This is probably the better way to do it. There we go. So it just shows... Hopefully just shows these. Alright. Uh, no response. Trying to make sure that it doesn't reveal my next draw. You can see what I draw next. Okay. Just take a screenshot then. 
I try to keep my hand revealed for the opponent, you see, just as a courtesy. Hmm. In paper, that works pretty well. There we go. Alright, so we're, we're hidden again. Alas. So, like, for example, if my opponent thought sees me, they take the card, I'll just keep revealing the cards that they've already seen. Reveal cards if you want. Oh! That's right, you do it individually, don't you? Oh, wait a minute. I could have sworn that there's a way to do this separately, but I, I could be wrong. I could have sworn. In the middle of a game is not the time to figure that out. Next time I play an EDH game on here, we'll be good. We'll know. Alright, so it should be swing two? Swing two. There we go. Take it. Go to 17. Uh, yep, vigilance. Does give him vigilance, right? Yep, there we are. Uh, so make sure I do this correctly. Upkeep. Vamp Tutor. There is no way on earth that you do not have something here. You 1000% have something, I swear. Alright, so pay to life is actually... Well, no, it's not part of the cost. You gotta rat it to be not part of the cost, I think. I'm pretty sure. But the way it's worded, it doesn't matter, it resolves, so that's fine. Uh... Let's see... Why am I having such a hard time with Find card, there we go. There we go. Okay. So we have Blazing Shoal. Guess what we're putting on top? We could theoretically actually use Blasphemous Act. But I have a sneaking suspicion we're probably good to go here. So I'll save the Blasphemous Act and just put Progenitus on top. Can you... Thank you, thank you. Alright. Cool. Send to Deck Top. And that should be good. Alright. And draw. Ta-da! It worked! Okay, cool. Now. They know I don't have days or anything, so this is probably fine. Animate. Change counter from 0 to 1. Oh, yeah, cool. That works. <sighs> you know the... <laughs> okay, I'm just being silly now. Let's not... It's about to rickroll. Uh, yep. Blocks. Just making sure. GG. Game two. The firing the bolt preemptively was probably to try to keep me from using soft counter mat. Well, I don't have soft counter. I only have force of will in the stack, don't I? At least in the main board. I say don't I. Should be, uh, oh yeah, we took out flustering, Flusterstorm. That's right. That's right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, so let me go into the cyborg. So strip mine seems, if, if we're on the draw, strip mine is okay, I guess? We'll consider it. It's better than some of the cards, perhaps. Damping Sphere, Echoing Truth. It's good. No Rod, Energy Flux, Ravenous Trap. Yeah, it's it's just Echoing Truth and Strip Mine. And what can we take out? What does not do us any good here? And actually, to be honest, we're pretty well set as we are. Force of Will doesn't do anything for their creatures, which means some of their removal. It also doesn't do anything against Abrupt Decay. So Force of Will counters two bolts, and let me, let me make sure before I, I say two bolts, none in the sideboard, 
Uh, and two Force of Vigor, none in the sideboard. And that's it. That's all that it hits. And I guess it also hits Pyroblast, which they're bringing in for Blagent. Okay, so maybe it is actually worth it. Hmm. Hide three Hydro Blast. Dang. <laughs> dang, dude. I mean, I don't even know that you're wrong, but dang. Alright, <laughs> that is a lot. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let me see if there's anything else that I can take out first. Before taking out Force. I mean, the obvious, the, the obvious one for me is to take out Imperial Seal. It's a Sorcery Speed Vamp Tutor. That's it. Uh, it's fine. This is not a matchup where I would like to take out... Oops, still here. Cataxium Probe. So, Imperial Seal. I could take out a Preordain. Oh, jeez. There's, there's so much that this doesn't help with. Oh boy. Oh boy! Yeah, I need to keep Forcible in. So we'll take out Imperial Seal, and... And also, Forcible will help when I try to jam one of these. Show and Tell's not as good against them because they're also a creature deck, but Tinker, there's not a thing that they can do. Since it's indestructible, Shriek Maw can't hit it, Abrupt Decay can't hit it, Force of Vigor can't hit it. Uh... Let me look at the wording of that. Yeah, Destroy. So yeah, that's, that's maybe where we're at. So we'll take out Imperial Seal. Time Walk actually doesn't do us very much here either. It's just a two-mana cantrip in this matchup, and it is in so many as well. Uh, Dismember has to stay. So we'll take out... I hate doing this. I hate taking out Time Walk. We, we don't need to. We don't need to, but Strip Mine might actually get us somewhere against them. Five-color deck, a mana-intensive deck that they are. So, Imperial Seal, Time Walk for Strip Mine, Echoing Truth. Let's go. And even that might be over sideboarding. Alright, so let's put in Echoing Truth and Strip Mine and take out Imperial Seal and. Uh, uh, that's the first time I've ever done that. It still feels so wrong. <laughs> it does, though. Oh, it really does. Uh, it could actually be effective if I happen to get out a Progenitus or a Blightsteel, however, to make, it, to make it lethal more readily. You know what? It might not do us as much good to have the Strip Mine on the play. Let's look at their deck list one more time really quickly. Uh... I mean, they, they are very... Oh, jeez, what just happened? Oh, touch... I uh, just touch-clicked. Uh, they are very mana-intensive, so I'm strongly inclined to keep it in. So we'll, we'll keep it in. Oh, boy, here goes. Mm. Ah, all right, I have made my bed, now I have to lie in it. Draw seven. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, they get to go first. I don't know what's up with that. Wish there was a way to reveal my hand only to people watching the stream. Uh, screenshot and post it in the Discord later. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll. That might be okay. That might be a thing. By the way, they get to go first. You are on the play. I take it. But like, as the game goes on. Oh, I got you. I see what you're saying. Yep, keep. Uh, so we are keeping as well. Now, we don't have any creatures, but we have Probe, Recall, Preordain, Misstep. So I think that we can get there. Keep as well. Mental Misstep is... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Mental Misstep is okay. It doesn't hit any of their creatures, but they are still running Brainstorm, Recall, stuff like that. They better be, anyway. I saw the Brainstorm earlier. Yeah. And, and Bolt. It hits Bolt. Okay, so that was fine. Brainstorm, Git Probe, Bolt, their own misstep. Okay, it's it's fine to keep that in. Alright, so Cavern first into nothing. Interesting. 
take it down too. <laughs> uh, okay. Screenshot. Open up paint. Everything is making my computer run slowly now, I think. Alright, so we're looking at Swamp, Confluence, Mole Drifter, Their Own Misstep, Force of Will. Yo. I'm all ears. Uh. I just remembered I don't... I don't know how to spell Baghdad. <laughs> That's... Pretty much it. It also hits the Library of Alexandria, but that, that no one cares about that. Uh, so we will put it up, draw a card. That's actually the reverse. It's not supposed to go in that order, but you know, yeah, no. Okay, so if I fight it, if I try to fight a counter war over recall now, I lose it. So let's not. Let's actually use the preordain first. I would very much like to not lose that. You see. And since they're not running any land destruction, let's go and get an underground sea. Almost dragged Blighted Agent. <laughs> let's not say we did it. Okay. Preordain. What you got? Preordain is Scry 2 draw a card. I'll try not to take for granted that people may or may not know what that does. All right. Oh boy. So scry two, and then it gives me the prompt again. Uh huh. Okay. Well, the only creature that we see is Mole Drifter. So let's. Hello? Send to deck bottom. And then draw. Uh, hello? Thank you. And pass the turn. I was hoping I could try to bait out the mental misstep there. Alas, I could not. Oh boy. That is a slow hand. It might still work out for them, though. If I fire the preordain here then they might think that I don't have a land drop. Alright, no response. They're, they're letting it go again. Here. Uh. Dos. Well, I don't need either one of those, so let's send them both to the bottom. I think we're good on mana, folks. I think it's safe to say that we're good on mana. Deck bottom, then draw. Hey. Okay. So if I try to go land ancestral recall, then we don't have another blue card. We can mental misstep, but we don't have another blue card over which to fight it. So I think that the answer is we should just play the ink moth, and then pass. And then if they try to force, we can force back. No response. All right. Let's see what you got. Okay, so two cards we still don't know yet. Three, Mole Drifter. Is it? Yep, okay, Mole Drifter. Uh, no response. <laughs> Even if I could, that's ca Cavern. <laughs> Alright. Good times. Alright. Upkeep. Make sure there's not anything I want to try to do here. I think we draw first. Blagent. Now we have a blue card to pitch to Force of Will, and we have Mental Misstep. Alright. Let me make positively sure. They, there's no way they have Spell Pierce in this list. They do not. Okay. They, yeah, that would have been, that would have been crazy if that had been the case. All right, recall. Do it to it. It should be dead here. 
Alert response. Here we go. They, <laughs> make sure they they did. All right, pay the two. Pay the two. <laughs> I'm gonna do it like this. We have an actual stack going on. All right. Ooh. Force it. Okay. One, two, three. Jeez. Zus. Okay. Okay. There's only so. <laughs> there's only so safely I can play. Oh, man. Um. So the obvious choice is to go for it here. And I think we should, because even if I fail, we can reload. Yeah, let's, let's find a card. It's not... Yeah. Yeah. About that, Jay. About that. There you are. <laughs> yep, do your thing. Combats. Combat? Alright. No blocks? Um, can we not right click, please? Do I have you? Broke the. Oh, no, they, they don't have the. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. Uh, that was mental misstep that was pitched? Oh, force, pitch force. There we go. Uh, him? Thank you. Force, pitch... Thinking. Um... Man, we have so many options here. I think the answer... We could probably pitch blood. <laughs> Oh, well, it doesn't matter, but I, I guess Blighted Agent's the smart one to pitch. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oy. Yeah, that's a... Uh, abrupt Decay was on strike. It seems. Not that it matters for Inky. <laughs> the land gets around my sorcery removal. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh yeah, yay. I'm lucky luck that force of vigor didn't show up. That's a pain. That's a real pain. Even if it's a two for one, that's a pain. <laughs> you had it in the first game. <laughs> Super oofios. Wait, wait, wait. Did you not have a green card? Oh. That sucks. And it's not that they lack green cards. Uh. Had you not cast the Kahira, you'd have it, right? Yeah. You too. You too, dude. Now you know. It's a learning experience. Force of, Force of Vigor has that advantage, even if you don't have a lot of green cards in your deck. If you're running a deck that can play Kahira, you can do that. <laughs> Get someone with that knowledge next time. Next time. I guess they tried to just play Akihira to advance a clock against me. Um, it's probably my best shot at winning. Yeah, actually, who knows if I would have been able to reload had they done that. 
I didn't have counter magic. Adios. So that was a thing. That was a thing. Got it 2 0. -oh. I wouldn't say that that was easy necessarily. I could have lost game one, as it turned out. No, we're, we're, <laughs> we're good. Thank you, Entap. You're cool. Alright, um. Yeah. T1 Glistener Elf signing off. Take care, everyone. I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs> and good game, Better Moth. Good game.